Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Call of the Wild, the Angler. And we are still trying to catch a mountain whitefish. Not been an easy, easy mission. Yeah, I had actually watched another player who played it about a month ago struggle in exactly the same way that I had to struggle and have been struggling. Hello, Buckaroo. Oh, the guy gets some I understand, dude. Anyway, he went through exactly the same thing. He was complaining about the night time cycle. He was complaining about what, what the heck we're supposed to use to fish for these guys. And he did everything and tried everything that I did. And it, it took him a while. It took him a while in the, you know, in the video. And he did eventually get one. But it almost seemed like he caught it you know randomly there was not like it was planned you know you cannot apparently you can't change the night cycle you can't go and sleep like you're supposed to yet apparently that's supposed to come eventually and they are working on a lot of these things that I have been saying stuff about like they're supposed to be giving a zoom in zoom out option uh, just all the things they are apparently very much listening to us reviewers so this thing does have a lot of potential guys so I am not trying to be harsh with it it's just that I want to be able to play it without getting frustrated <laughs> and right now I'm still getting frustrated well one thing I do know now is that these fish do f you need to catch them off the bottom I, that much I do know I think he caught it his when he caught it right off the bottom I mean as far down as it goes so he did try lure fishing and he caught it in the daytime not in the night so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do what he did and see if I can get one but he caught quite a few other ones he caught rainbow trout like I did he caught smallmouth bass so I guess it's just you know a matter of timing and from here I think we're supposed to go some other location to catch one so we get to frustrate ourselves again <laughs> so if there's a lot of waiting time here or if I'm catching a lot of species other than this I'm probably just gonna cut it out of the video and just kinda re you know, refer back to it but anyway we're just gonna sit here and, and see what we can do alright I finally got one here as soon as I stop recording, something bites. That's usually the way things works, isn't it? <laughs> and this would probably be the mountain fish. I was just sitting there waiting. Yeah, the only thing I changed, guys, is I set my depth, like I said, down to as far as it goes, and I changed my hook size to 7. But we are going to have to step up our tension here because he is getting away. Whatever he is, he's getting away very fast. And he's going to break my line. That's what happens is they can spool you. I thought that was a snag, but that was them spooling you that one time when he just kept going and kept going. So whatever it is, it's big. I need to start gaining some on him. Okay, there we go. I'm already at 60% and that's pushing it. Yeah, I probably don't want to push it any more than that, but as long as it's ticking down, I think we're good. Yeah, I th that was kind of frustrating. I was sitting here trying to hit the record button and couldn't couldn't keep the fish and do that at the same time, so I had to get a little bit of a pause there. So sorry about that. You didn't get to see the actual strike. But I don't think this is a mountain whitefish. When I saw 
that young man catch it. And I'll put his name up on the board because I think it's Survivavis or the Survivus. I think it's yeah, that's right, the Survivus. He uh, he didn't even know he had one. You know, he was just he was doing what I was doing, just caught a rainbow trout and like, well, I caught another one. Let's try this. Well, let's try that. <laughs> yeah, there isn't an exact science to this just yet, so we got a ways to go. We got a ways to go, but whatever this is, it has stopped fighting, at least for the moment. And he's almost in. Let's see what he is. Another channel catfish. This one's a lot bigger than the one I caught the first time. He's a bronze. That's why he stopped fighting. Yeah, they fight really hard in the beginning, but eventually they just kind of they kind of give it up cuz if they can't muscle their way. Well, it's cuz we're fishing off the bottom. I mean, it's going to happen. Take that back down there again. We're going to try right out there at our waypoint. Yeah, I think the next waypoint is further out on the lake, so they're going to force us to go out by boat. Well, I'll be damned. Check it out. I just noticed that down there, the one that says toggle focus. <laughs> that was, that's brand new. That's been literally just added since my last recording. We have zoom in options, guys. We have our zoom in option. Now we can see what's going on. Well, that makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> my god. Yeah, if we've got anything that's going to swim up and be interested, we'll see it. And there is something way out there. I don't know if you see that swell. Look at that. Oh, I love this. This is so much better. This is so much better. Yeah, they really are are working on things, guys. Well, let's just be patient, I guess. There it is. Or at least something is. Okay, we're making ground on him so far, so let's put a little more pressure on him. Oh, come on. Let it be what I need, man. Let it be what I need. Now, this is not a bass. Oh, cool. There's my first northern pike. Juvenile or not, it's my first one. Hmm. Yeah, my own, also my understanding is as far as your flashlight goes, it's you're supposed to have one. It just turns on when it gets dark. So there is no on off switch for that. So I've been learning uh, quite a bit. Things have been evolving as I'm playing. I mean, my gosh. I cannot get over they did that the to the focus like since yesterday. <laughs> no joke. Since yesterday. I mean I'll look at the footage, but I don't know well, there we go. Alright, let's see here. We're getting some good we're getting some bites. I mean it's not like we're not getting bites. Plenty of activity. We're 
We're just not getting what we need. Gotta get one particular type of species. We are not getting it. Yeah, I'm really pushing my luck here, probably, but... I want to be able to move on to the next part of this mission. Okay, we are making some headway here. Thinking it's not a bass because nothing has broke the water. Or a trout. It could be another catfish. What do we got? Yep, it's another catfish. <laughs> 3.75. We are doing the we are doing a lot with catfish here. Hmm. And I got credits for that. That's something else. I was wondering, how in the world do we make money? Well, we we don't sell the fish. That much was told to me. And that was actually told to me before I played yesterday. And I was like, okay then, how do we catch them? Well, apparently there are some missions, too, that you can take part challenges where you can make a lot of cash. And they're over on another bulletin board. So I might have to check that or at least look at it. We're not going to do that in this episode because there's that's too many things going on at once. But yeah, there's a, there's been a serious amount of changes going on here, guys. Uh, we are going to... Okay, we're going to have to definitely take that down about a bit. And it seems like the bite rate has been increased, too, just since yesterday. I mean, I am... I haven't been having to wait too long. The only thing that concerns me is if I keep getting these darn catfish, that's not going to... Well, I guess I couldn't complain too much. I mean, it is... I am getting cash. Yeah, I was a little worried about that because I was like, what do I do if I run out of eggs? Well, apparently these mountain whitefish also go for bread, too. Even though they say a lot about those eggs, and they're really kind of expensive, they do go for bread, too. Yeah, whatever this is, it's coming in. It's not... It's not a monster. Yeah, the game mechanics have seriously improved. There we go. Well, we're just getting catfish left and right here. Three, six, one. 138 credits for him. Hmm. Well, that's awesome because now I know that I'm going to be able to to buy better gear as we go. Okay, here's the trick though. How am I going to get these darn mountain whitefish? I'm really kind of at a loss here. Let me take the hook up a little bit because I am just getting catfish after catfish. I know they're supposed to be kind of... Wait a minute, let me see here. I think it's under the handbook. Yeah, okay. You can come in here and you can kind of get some ideas. I wonder what you could do with that. Seems like you could sell it or something. I don't know. Mountain whitefish. I think it's right here. Yeah. Shallow pond, deep pond, lake shore. Eggs, spoon, spinnerbait. Traits. So you can do tab. Whitefish is a widely distributed salmonid fish in western North America. 
It's a fish of mountain streams and lakes, favoring clear, cold water and large, deep pools of at least three feet. Mountain whitefish are bottom feeders, stirring up the substrate with pectoral and tail fins to expose insect larvae and other invertebrates, including snails, crayfish, and amphipods. Their main feeding time is in the evening. They'll also take drifting prey during drifting the day. During the day. The mountain whitefish frequently feeds in the lower strata of streams, but populations may rise to the surface to prey on hatching insects, including mayflies. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I tell you what, let's let's put that up a little bit higher. They said drifting. I don't have any mayflies, but we, we'll try on the surface this time, since it is daytime. And now we can toggle our focus. Awesome. I love that. Finally, yes. You don't know how much, uh, how important that is to me to be able to do. I forgot it's a fish. But that's not a mountain whitefish. That's that looks like a bass. Yep. for sure here in a minute if it's a bass. Once we get closer to shore, he'll jump. But that is not a catfish. That much I could tell. The body shape was all wrong. another northern pike. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Well, hmm. Well, I'm getting credits left and right here, guys. That's, that's honestly awesome. So, there's a fish right there that seems like he might be interested. We'll soon see. Nope, that is a pike. Look at him go. Look at him go. You little bugger. You little bugger. Nope, this is not going to be an easy one to bring in. If it is a pike, which I'm pretty sure it is, he's going to start running with it. Nice smallmouth bass, Mr. 1C. Yeah, this fish is taking off. Yeah, I think my main goal here is, you know, at least try to get these fish in so that I can get the credits. And I am going to go get a bigger pole. <laughs> and a bigger reel. Actually, my reel is my biggest problem. Uh, Come on. Now you're going to run with it again? Okay, come on. A little bit closer. Alright. We're making progress now. 
Oh, he's going to be bad. Yeah, I've decided that we just got to get through this. Mission would be nice to get. But I think the main thing that this video is going to be about is about the improvements and changes that they've made just recently. How much better they are. How this game is starting to really grow on me. I really, really am starting to love this game. But then it's associated with the hunter. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with that. I knew those guys wouldn't let us down. I think what they did when they put this out over a month ago, I think they just may have wanted to, you know, I guess, well, honestly, if I sit there and rethink this, because I thought, well, maybe they were just trying to get it out there. Well, no, maybe they were just trying to get it out there so people can try it out and say, okay, look, there's another Northern Pike. I was right. We really like this, but we want this and we want that, and that way they can do what they need to do to please their people. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. They're 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 meeting our expectations, and that's what they're trying to do. I'm trying to look to see if I see anything active out there. Now, how can he change his appearance? Oh, I bet you can go in there and get apparel changes. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of the way my guy looks. He looks kind of like a dweeb. <laughs> He's got the dweebness going on. All right. Still cannot get the right fish, guys. Still cannot get the right fish. I wonder how much cash I actually have on hand now. Let's see, is there a way to, to check? 904. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's go back to the tackle shop. talk to that annoying girl <laughs> boy she does we don't have to talk to her she can do all the talking for us for a fish or perhaps a purchase I'll be over here let's see customization what's that oh that wasn't an option before well good cuz I'm not happy with the way this guy looks Oh, I can be a girl. But what the hell was that? So we got A, B, C, it's A, B, and C. Oh, that's just male and female. Eh. I usually play a female role just because it's. Oh, you can be different ethnic groups too Asian, African. Let's see. Vigilante Maroon. Harrison. There's not a whole lot of options. Baby Blue. Charcoal Gray. Well, I'm kind of glad that's changed. Accessories. Let's see. None. Can't get accessories. You probably have to buy them. Let's see, what kind of pants here? Let's put old good. I think I'm gonna go with good old fashioned blue jeans. Rotation. Oh, 
that doesn't look too bad. House cat? It's like a leather. Oh, I like the red. Gloves. There's no gloves. There's Crypt Keeper. Marine Teal. Yeah, I don't like... Yeah, I like that better. Okay, that's good. Just go with baby blue boots. And my hair. No hair. <laughs> you only have one style right now, so you can either you can be bald, blonde, brown, or let's go with red. Yeah, that's a new option that they just added too. What can I get ya? Let's see what they do for they have for apparel. So see, you can get different types of things. Instead of wearing those god awful boots that I'm wearing, I can wear decent shoes. Or hiking boots. Ooh, some of these gloves are nice. You got different shirts with different things on them. Fishing. <laughs> oh, we can wear shorts. That can be cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get get a hat of some kind. Let's see. That's kind of. Oh, and sunglasses. Well, we don't have a lot of cash. We need stuff for our actual fishing gear. The Vizier combines old school sensibility and style with all the modern technological advancements you've come to expect from another Perkinkin's future classic. Yeah, reels are what I really need. I need something that's a little tougher than what I've got. That's where I've been running into problems. The Delta is the pinnacle of Wright's Reel catalog. An incredible but attainable target for any journeyman fisher. Yeah, I've got a heavy enough rod. The Othello is a throwback that feels like a step forward, boasting a high density carbon strain body that operates smoothly in every phase of fishing. All right, I think that's going to get us at least somewhat where we're needing to go. Let me see what baits we have available to us because now the Welcome bread. The, Shea du Sophia. the bread's complimentary, but it's polite to buy a starter. Pearl barley. Now, what does this guy go for? Let me take a look here. I like to use something potent, like a Danish blue, to make sure every fish in the zip code can smell what I'm cooking. So they like the eggs, spoon, and spinnerbait. Again, they are night fishers. They're a night fish. That's our latest catches. We don't have any figures. Let's see. Keys. I don't know what that's about. Even when I'm serving customers, I'm catching fish in my head. Yeah, we may have to come back on this. Okay, these are the two. We've got one that's spinning and one that's float fishing. So let's go over like rods. I just wish he'd just give and take. You know, give and take. My ideas are good, and I know he knows. Yeah, see our spinning. I mean, our. We need something a little tougher. Now 
And let's see. Is the line... A few years ago, I was working in a business a million times the size of Taylor's tackles. This one's tailor-made for me, though. There we go. Well, actually, let's let's put this back at ten, and let's try bread this time. May not work. There's still more to buy. Come back. But we might have a better shot at it, guys, because. There's so many species out here that eat the same bait, and I don't see things like, well, I'm sure catfish will go. Catfish will eat anything, but I'm talking about like the the pike. I don't see the pike going for the bread. Well, at least that's a theory. It's a working theory. Okay, I am going to try it on the, on the bottom again. Cause see, when I was watching him do it, he did catch it off the bottom, but that was a month ago. And I did check back on my last video, which, like I said, I recorded it yesterday. There was no option to toggle focus. So this literally happened yesterday. Oh, wow. Check him out. <laughs> He's just swimming around, minding his own business. Yeah, this this game just gets better and better and better, guys. It really does. Just gonna get this one stupid fish, one species. This one species of fish, and it is such a hard fish to get. It's supposed to be the most common one in here too. Alright guys, looks like we got one. We've been catching fish, but I am getting a little bit tired. Well, that was a nice one. Just getting these small guys. Oh wow, now that's a large, large mouth. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, that was a big fish, whatever that was, it just jumped. And we got another one here. Okay, he's... Eh, he's coming. He's pushing it, though. He's pushing it. Oh man, that's a nice fish. It's probably a large mouth. It could be a small mouth, it's hard to say, but he looked a little big for a small mouth. He's almost in. To upsizing that line and that reel has really made a difference. Come on, almost there. Damn, he's a heck of a fighter. Oh wow. That there's my first gold. My first gold largemouth. Thirty-two ten score. Five point nine is it nine two pounds? Yep. That's not bad. Let's get a picture of that. Uh doesn't look like you can spin her around or anything. Darn it. Eh, I guess that's gonna have to do. Decent picture. Still not the fish we need, guys. <laughs> we're getting some good fish in here, but we're not getting the ones we need. Alright. Now well, we're going to try it again. Been able to see them a little better recently. Coming right up to the surface. Look at that. There's one right there. Okay, what... Now, I haven't seen that kind before. Maybe that's what we're after. I don't know. I hope so. 
There we go. Well, we got him. I hope it's just not another different species of trout, but he's coming in pretty easily. Oh, there it is. And he's gold. Damn. 1814 score. We finally got that guy. Didn't think we'd ever get him. 308 pounds. Is that what it says? Yeah, my eyes are kind of bad, guys. I'm sorry. Not bad. Now we did get him off the eggs. Got him off the eggs. A seven odd hook. And the leader is right on the surface, but it is in the daytime. That the drifting thing is important, apparently. But again, it still still seemed a little bit more at random. There's a, our picture right there. I think that's what we're going to be putting on the front of the video there. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe. A lot of new changes. A lot of good changes. But anyway, I think I'll be back in the next episode. we got to do the next part of this mission and get another mountain trout at a much further distance. But we're going to need a boat to get there this time for sure. But as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.